Hi, I'm Kelly Hamilton. I'm a senior scientist at the Donor Tissue Bank of Victoria. I've worked in tissue banking for more than 20 years and I still love it. Knowing that someone's tragedy brings hope to so many people helps lots of those people, including me. I've always felt it to be a privilege to work at the Donor Tissue Bank of Victoria. Let me show you around. Our new facility was funded by the Commonwealth and Victorian governments. Redevelopment began in 2010 and was completed in 2015. It was a long haul, but it was worth it. We can now boast that we are one of the best tissue banks in the world. Some of the features of the new facility include tissue retrieval suite, pharmaceutical grade clean rooms, the capacity for a national reserve of tissues, for example, skin for burns patients, dedicated cell culture suites, and the capacity to be able to manufacture new tissue products, translating research into grafts for patients. This is our brand new state-of-the-art retrieval suite. This is where the tissue collection occurs. The environment in this room rivals any surgical operating theatre in any hospital. The number of donors changes each year, but averages around 100 deceased and 600 living. As we are conveniently located within the Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine, next to the coroner's courts, we have a very close relationship with both organisations and are on hand when an unexpected death occurs and tissue donation is possible. Let's take a look at the clean room. This is one of four new tissue processing rooms. We also have two dedicated cell culture laboratories. In these rooms, under the laminar flow cabinet, is where we process the tissue, heart valves, bone, skin and tendons into a more transplantable format. The quality of the air in these rooms is such that we need to dress like this in order to maintain maximum quality of the tissue for transplant. Tissue donation is a tough decision for most people. Families have to decide whether or not to donate their loved one's tissue at an extremely stressful time. Our nurses are in contact with the family within hours of someone's death because we only have a 24 hour window of opportunity to retrieve the tissue. Tissue is tested for contamination in the microbiology lab where we also complete procedures for death investigations on behalf of the coroner's court. I'll show you the microbiology lab now. This is our new microbiology laboratory. It's about three times the size of our old one. It's in this room where we test samples of the tissues for contamination to make sure that they're safe for transplantation. The tissue retrieved and processed by the Donor Tissue Bank of Victoria includes skin, bones, cartilage, heart valves, and we also facilitate corneal donation through the lion's eye bank. Once the tissue has been processed by our team of specialist scientists, bone and tendon tissue is frozen to minus 80 degrees and cardiac tissue and skin to colder than minus 135 degrees. It's then distributed to surgeons who need tissue for transplantation. Most of the tissue generously donated by Victorians goes to other Victorians, but some is transported interstate. We're here in our liquid nitrogen room. This is where we store our heart valves and our skin grafts in cryogenic temperatures. There's a heart valve in its packaging. We also have a product development lab so we can partner with researchers trying to get biotherapeutic products onto the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods. Before we go, let's look at the freezer room. We're here in our quarantine freezer room. All of the freezers in here are minus 80 degrees. This is where we store our musculoskeletal tissue, as in bone and tendons, while it's still in quarantine. The colour coding on the front of each of the freezers represents the stage in the process that the tissue is up to. For example, red represents tissue that has not been processed yet, and yellow represents tissue that has been processed and irradiated. Our work here at the Donor Tissue Bank of Victoria is very rewarding. Each day we're helping to either save or enhance someone's life. The tissue from one donor can help up to 30 different individuals in so many ways. It's a wonderful gift from one human being to another. So there's our great new facility here at the Donor Tissue Bank of Victoria. Remember, the most important thing is to discuss your wishes with your family. If you want to be a donor, make sure that they know that so that if the time comes, they can do what you would have wanted. That way you can help lots of people. See ya.